to teach you. Uh, and is how do I fill text with an image? So let's say I'm going to type a big piece of text. I'm going to type my name as my father wanted to be. It's Talasa, that means um, ocean in ancient Greek. Uh, my father was a deep sea diver and he wanted to call his daughters in honor of the ocean. Making it really big. I'm going to give it option, um, arrow key, give it some spacing in terms of uh, tracking. And I'm going to put it right on top of my image, right here. So what do I do next? First of all, I need to tell Illustrator that this object is a uh, actually not text but outlines has to be a bunch of lines in order to be able to cut through that pixel image now remember in Illustrator you have two kind of text the one that is editable like this one I double click on it and I can go in and change it do whatever I want or you can grab the text that you just made editable editable and do uh, outlines out of it command shift O is the shortcut or you can find it under type create outline somewhere right here as you can see it's command shift O so I'm going to do the shortcut because I've been doing that for 20 years command shift O and as you can see you probably saw the flashing um, anchor points that show you that this text now is outlined in fact if I swap it right here I can see even more of that or maybe actually all I'll do is grab the white arrow and go grab some of these points and pull them out. So you can really tell this is definitely a path with a bunch of anchors, right? You can see that. So let's say you did that, and now you need to make that the uh, image comes through the text. So let's say you created a piece of text, you went in and modified it, modified all these beautiful anchor, then you're ready to make it into a masterpiece of some kind. So let's say I'm happy with this, but I want the image to come through in the text. So what you need to do is select the text alone. So actually, let me go with the black arrow. Let me actually look in the layer stack and see what happens. You can see in the layers that I have the image in the background. There it is. I'm gonna, by the way, delete this one that we don't need anymore, the editable one. So I have the image in the background and I have the text right here. So if I click on this little loop, it selects the whole text, right? So I select the text. Now is outline. I need to tell that this text is a cutting element. The cutting element for Illustrator is a compound path. In fact, let me show you before I do that. Let me go and create a shape, for example. And I'm going to create another shape inside of it like a polygon or a star or whatever you want it to be. I'm going to give it a different color so you see that there are two different objects, right? So you can see that I have two shapes. And if I go and select those two shapes, I click and drag, and I go and I say Object Compound Path, Make, Command 8 is the shortcut. What happened? The top shape became a hole. You see that, right? Now this object is actually what I call a donut. And the hole in this case is an hexagon. But you can see that what Illustrator did when we told it to make it into a compound path, it basically cut a chunk out of the bottom piece. And that helps you think of the fact that if I take this piece of text, now in this case, I just have one uh, element that is going to be the cutting element. These are the cutting parts. So I don't need to select something behind it yet because the part behind it right now is a bitmap. And remember, compound path can only be made amongst uh, paths. This is not a path back here. So I'm not selecting that thing in the back. I'm just selecting the outline of the text, the basically paths of the text. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do what I was telling you, make it into a compound path. Remember, Command-8 is the um, shortcut. You can see that the fill went away. And that's normal, because what it's doing right now is basically saying, okay, I understand 
that this needs to be a hole, it needs to be a cutting element. Now is when I hold the shift key and select the background image. So now I have the background image selected and the compound path outline text selected. Now I go and say clipping mask, command 7 is the shortcut make. And boom, done. So the steps are to first create text, then turn it into outline, then take that text alone and make it into a compound path, then shift click the bitmap image and do a clipping mask. So those are the four steps that you need to do. And you can watch this video over and over again if you need so. All right.